Now in its seventh year, the Salish Sea Lantern Festival has become a bit of a summer tradition in Sydney. Organizers wondered how their celebrations, though, could go ahead when crowds are not allowed to gather. Well, they found a way, and this year's festival will be especially magical. V. Cooper has more. For the past six years, communities across the Saanich Peninsula have come together for the Salish Sea Lantern Festival. And we start usually with a procession. We usually get about between two to 3,000 people coming with their own lanterns. And there's usually an entertainment on stage. And then it ends on the fishing pier with all these big, beautiful lanterns on display. This seventh year of the festival will be different, but just as magical. Instead of just one day, it's going to be a week. So it's starting August 16th to 22nd. When people have their lantern kits all ready, they can display them on their porch, on their front yard. It's just a beautiful display that will bring... Um, community together. We'll miss the parades, but uh, what, the, what we've created now is a, is a community involvement project. So at a time when COVID you cannot gather, this is like, I think it's the perfect opportunity for community. The Salish Sea Lantern Festival is just one of many events hosted by Artsy Community Arts Council, supporting artists across the Saanich Peninsula. We do a variety of things. Right behind me is the gallery, which unfortunately was closed a few months ago due to COVID-19, but will reopen soon uh, in September the 4th. Artsy also hosts an annual studio tour. It's still happening this year online. We hired a student from uh, UVic. She's an art student, Tori Jones. And uh, with her and myself, we've gone around to 32 artists and videotaped them in their studios. It's free, it's just on the website. Here's the jellyfish stuff. Also on the website. And here's the light that goes in. Tutorials on how to make a lantern for the upcoming festival. Sometimes a good idea just to stagger how long they are. Artsy is also selling these simple jellyfish lantern kits. Money goes back into Artsy that pr it actually supports artists and artist projects in the community. Lanterns will be on display across the Saanich Peninsula August 16th to 22nd. Artsy will provide an interactive map on their website, artsy.ca. It's just a beautiful display that will bring um, community together. Yeah, being together, but not together. Everything's nice and spread out now. Simple. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.